everyone, this is JDog406, and I am going to be showing you guys uh, my coin collection today in this video. So we aren't doing any coin roll hunting, I'm just showing this specifically. And then, yeah, I just kind of thought I'd show it since I haven't shown it before. But otherwise, we are going to get into this first Lincoln Cent book that I have. That will be from 2024 down to 96, as it says, with all the mint markers by year and everything. So let's get into it and we'll see what we got. All right, right here. I was just going to show this real quick. This is the back of the book, but I'm going to go reverse down to 1909. So you can pause and look at that. That's all the mintage stuff. Um... But first, we do have this first page right here, which I am missing a couple, as you can see. And then we're going to go to the second page. I am also missing a couple, as you can see. And I do probably have these 2009s. I just have not gotten to uh, put them in yet, besides the San Francisco ones. I don't have the San Francisco ones. But yeah, there's that whole page right there. Then we go to this last page, where it's the first page of the book. I got a lot of nice looking coins in here. Been trying to find the best looking versions. But that is the end of that first book, so we will get into the second book. I am actually going to start from the 19s and go up to 58 instead. Doesn't necessarily matter, but... So, I am missing quite a few on this page in the early teens. I do have some pretty nice looking coins, though, up here. Um, I'll just show you the back side of this. There's that really nasty looking one. But other than that, all the other ones look pretty good. And then we got this second page right here, which I am missing quite a few from in the 20s too. All the way up to the 30s. Here, let me just get a little bit more better view on that. Then we can look at the back side of them real quick. Then I do surprisingly have all the steel ones. And I have not found all of these coin roll hunting. This is just my entire collection in general. So, yeah. Alright, we can look at the back of those steelies real quick. Do got one with a little bit of like eroded stuff on it, but that's all right. Otherwise, they all look pretty good. And then we got all of these ones right here. Very cool. Only missing a couple on this page. I'm actually surprised that I have not found a 1953 Philadelphia wheat penny out of. Every single box I've opened and all the wheats I've gotten. Or maybe I did find it and I just haven't put it in. But that's very unlikely. And let's look at the back of this page. With all those nicer scents there. Then we do have this page right here. It's a very filled out page too. I'm only missing a couple at the top, which I'm having a really difficult time trying to figure out those large dates and small dates, but I have been watching a lot of other videos on them and I still can't figure it out. So I'm going to just keep trying. All right. There's the back of those coins. And then... We will be getting over to this page right here, which I have a bit of it not filled out, which surprises me a little bit. Besides the San Francisco's, which I honestly, actually, yeah, those are all San Francisco's. So 
I am pretty much on the lookout for only San Francisco's in these newer years. And yeah, this page has everything besides some San Francisco's and a 94 down there. But other than that, that is the end of the uh, Lincoln sense. And I will show you uh, my nickels now. But first, let me just get a nice open view on that. Maybe you'd be able to pause it and look at it. But other than that, let's get on to the nickels. We are going to be getting into the Buffalo Nickel Collection, which is from 1913 to 1938. And I'm just going to take an open look at that page. I do only have... Uh, a 1913 on this side, and it is the ground in recess version, and then there is the uh, raised ground, which it's fairly easy to depict it, raised ground, not raised ground, so if you have one, it'd be easy to detect, and uh, I'm going to open up the rest of that, ain't nothing on that page. And then we're going to open up right over here. And I do have three on here. So a 1935, a 1936, and a 1937 sitting in a 38 slot. So I will actually have to move that. But other than that, we're going to close that book up. We're going to move on to the Jefferson Nichols. So we are getting into the Jefferson Nichols starting from 1938 to 1961. Just let me get the book open. Alright, so right here at the start, I don't have any of those uh, 38s. I do have some 39s, just one. Some 40s. And then I do have some silver war nickels. Got quite a few of those. Got them almost all filled out. And then we are going to look. That's actually my nicest one right there. My 1945P. I wish I could so show you the reverses, but that would require me popping every coin out. So it might come down if I buy some different books, but... For now, these ones are just fine. These nickels have been a little bit harder to find. But other than that, I do have the book fairly well filled out. And now let's move on, starting 1962. Right, right here we are starting on collection from 1962 to 1995. All right, so I do have, I'm pretty sure every single thing filled out with the nicest possible coins that I can find. And I do replace them as I find better ones like that 72 definitely needs a replacement. So I'll be on the lookout for that one. And I do have this entire page right here filled out, which is very cool. Then we flip over here, and I have that all filled out. We're going to close that one up, and we're going to move on to starting 1996. Right, right here we have the book starting 1996. I'm almost certain I have everything besides maybe a couple newer ones filled out. So there is a nice little overview of everything right there. And there's just what the Monticello reverse looks like. Don't know why this book has that slot, but decided to put one there anyways because there's a slot. I can't remember exactly what year I put there. So, yeah. <laughs> um right I do like these uh 2004s and 2005s and I do have some really really nice looking ones 
Um, I am missing a 2009. So the 2009 Denver I have right there at, which is a low mintage coin under 50 million. Um, it was, I think it took me that first box that I did plus whatever rolls that I bought and opened before. So an entire box and I've only seen one 2009 nickel and I need to find a P which is an even lower mintage. It's below 40 million. So that one's probably going to be pretty hard to find and I will be very happy when I do find it. But other than that, there's a nice little overview of that page. And let's go look at this next one. All right. Pretty well filled out besides a couple Phillies. I am closer to the Denver Mint than the Philadelphia Mint, so I do find a lot more Denvers than I do Philadelphia's. But other than that, let's move on to the next book. I did quickly want to show this. This is just a little book that I have full of uh, super nice looking wheat pennies. So this is kind of everything that I've found out of coin roll hunting that was really, really nice. And I decided to get a uh, plain book to start putting them in because I feel like I'm going to find more. So just want to show that one real quick. We're going to get into the Mercury Dime book. And... Let's see what we can't get out of this. And it's a blank page. A blank page. And then when we flip up this little thing. Oh look. I have only one coin here. And it's a 1945 San Francisco. So that is the only Mercury Dime I have. Other than that we are going to close this entire book. And hopefully something good can get put into it into the future. But yeah, that's the only one I have. And yeah, let's move on. So I'm going to be getting into Roosevelt Dimes, starting from 46 all the way up to, I think it's 2026 in this book. And uh, I do want to say I did open up a box of dimes on one video, and I did not find a whole lot. So I did end up throwing most of it back, but it was before I bought this book. So I do have a very select in my collection, but I can always add more on my next box of dimes that I buy. So we do have this whole first page completely empty. I've not found anything in the 40s all the way up to 61. And then when we come over here, I do have one silver dime, which is a 1962 Denver. And then we go down right there. I do have another one, which is a 1964 Denver. And there's the rest of those coins really quick. Nothing too important. A lot of gaps, though. Like I said, I did throw most of my coins back from my box because I did not own the book. And just real quick, I do want to show you those mint markers on those silver coins. So there's the D, and then where's the other one? There's the other D right there. So let's move on to this next book, or not book, page. And there is that. Just a couple of coins. Nothing too special at all, especially not up in these newer years. And not seeing a whole lot up here. I uh, I do believe that this book does not have the West Point dime, but it doesn't surprise me because I don't think that one was supposed to be in circulation because it was a West Point um, Mercury head dime. But other than that, that is the end of this book. And... I will just quickly show all of that real quick so you can look at the mintage years and stuff. Pause it, look at it, whatever you like. And all right, let's move on to the next book that I have. So the next book that I have, which is the last book that I have, I have an empty, or not an empty, uh, an unmarked quarter book. 
And I do have just one silver quarter in here. And it is a Philadelphia Mint Mark IV, the quarter. And, um, yeah, I have not ordered a quarter collection book yet. So I will be doing that here soon so I can show my quarters that I have and stuff in a collection. I will also be ordering a Canadian penny collection and possibly a uh a nickel book too for Canada just because I am finding quite a lot of that being on a state that borders Canada I do find quite a bit of uh coins from Canada but other than that just in this book I have a 1948 nothing else in it as you can see I'll even flip this little thing right here and that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.